Hello, this is Barry, and you're watching Barry and the P.I. Okay, so you've come over here, traveled around, and found that lady of the dreams, that beautiful young island girl, and you decide you want to get married. Well, you can go back to the U.S. or your home country and file uh a fiance visa or you can stay here a little bit longer and get married uh, and you can file get, you get married at city hall uh, just about any place that requires you be stay for two weeks from the time you file for marriage and before you go and get your uh, be able to go get married by the mayor or, or priest or whatever. Uh, if you want to bring her back to your home country, uh, you can file a fi or a fiance visa, and then uh, get all go through all the process of that. Some of the things you're going to need are correspondence and pictures of you two together, traveling around or whatever. Uh, any correspondence, uh, like I went back and filed for, uh, after I, we got married, we got married here in, in the Philippines, in the Das Marinas mayor's office. And that was something, uh, very positive though. Uh, so then you, you want to move to the Philippines, you're going to retire soon. Uh, where do you want to live? Well, probably your wife or fiance is going to want to live uh, somewhere close to her family. Uh, and there's many things you should consider about where you want to live. Uh, the Philippines is one of the most disaster, natural disaster prone areas in the world. We get earthquakes, we get volcano eruptions, we get typhoons. Uh, and the typhoons seem to be increasing with climate change you know, going on. Uh, whether you want to live on the coast uh, might depend on, you know, 10 years from now, where you want to live is going to be underwater. So those are all things you need to take into consideration. Uh, we had traveled to this area we like the area, we love the volcano and the lake. Uh, and uh, our daughter and her husband uh, live right over in Alfonso. Uh, so that was something that was uh, my, my, appealing to my to live close to uh, Aiko, her, her daughter. And uh, so we did. And having a, her and her husband, he's a civil engineer. And at that time, he was working for the, uh, the Philippine government as a civil engineer, uh, Department of Transportation. So uh, that was going to be good, and he knew about building houses and stuff. He'd done some uh, high-end homes before, and so he helped us uh, with all of that and getting this house finished and stuff, and it was a great comfort to us, having them around, and uh, they were able to stay here when uh, when we wanted to go, or when when the blackout ha happened from the volcano, and we were out without power for three days. 
Well, we after the first day we had gone up to Angeles City and uh, wait out when the uh, power came back on, and our family stayed here uh, during that time, and so we we had contact with them and uh, let us know when it's done, and then we came back. Uh, so, uh, if you're on the Pacific side, uh, you're going to be subject to typhoons. Uh, it's going to happen. And so, that should be some consideration to you. Uh, one of the reasons we picked uh, this place is because of, uh, we're up in elevation, and it is cooler up here. Uh, we seldom run the air conditioners. We had three air conditioners. And uh, this is summertime, and I haven't turned them on yet. <coughs> Some other areas are <coughs> subjected to flooding uh, so that's something you should consider. And if you're going to build your house, uh, you need to find a really good builder. Uh, if you watch uh, My P.I. Dreams with uh, James, Tanner, and Ness, uh, he's found a good, good contractor. Uh, Caribbean contractors, I think, so they will do a good job on a, on your house. So uh, we haven't had too many natural wildfires or anything like that up here, but it is cooler up here. Places like Baggio are going to be cooler. So if you just don't want this hot, humid heat, uh, that's where you're gonna get, what you're gonna get in Manila and, and Angeles City and uh, Cebu. It's gonna be hot down there. So those are all kinds of things that you need to take a look at. You don't want to build on a on a earthquake zone, fault zones. Uh, you don't want to be too low where you get flooding a lot. Uh, you want to be a little, uh, up a little higher if uh, the heat's a concern to you. So, uh, those are some of the things that you need to take a look at. And uh, there are maps. Uh, uh, earthquake maps and fault zone maps uh, to show you where the fault zones are. Uh, so you don't want to get your house split in two <laughs> on the building on the fault zone. Uh, but uh, it is great living here. I just like to sit out here in the afternoon, cool shady spot, uh, and just watch the dogs play and uh, listen to the birds singing, uh, listen to the geckos geckoing. <laughs> yeah, it sounds just like they saying gecko, gecko, gecko. Uh, and so uh, we were we, we were aware of volcano nearby. Uh, we are not in the danger zone of it. We're a few kilometers outside the danger zone. Uh, so you might consider those kinds of things. Remember, there's I like. 20-something active volcanoes in the Philippines. 
Uh, I know Mayon is a very active. Uh, it's down in near the Gaspy, uh, which is a nice place. A nice. Uh, we had considered living there. Uh, if you're an older guy like me, uh, access to a good hospital is uh, was important, and access to the VA clinic down in Manila. It takes me a couple hours to get there. Uh, with this traffic, traffic everywhere in the Philippines is horrible. <laughs> Just horrible. Uh, and crazy too. So that's why I don't drive anymore. I get... Something messing up on my phone here. So, uh, I hope this helps, uh, and if you're planning on moving anytime soon, uh, you're always welcome here. Come out to Casa de Gecko and, and meet with us. And, uh, we'll tell you all our stories, and you can tell us all yours. So, uh, that's about all I have to say now. Uh, uh, take a look. Don't just make a sudden, sudden uh, decision about where you want to live. Uh, take a look at all the things and factors that you need to know about. All right, that's about it. It's been a cloudy day out here today, but uh, it's also a lot of sun too. And the sun's going out that direction there. Uh, so y'all stay safe. Take care of each other. Take care of your families, your pets. And help your neighbor when you can. All right. This is over and out from Barry. We'll see you soon.